Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. My name is Paige and for today's video, as you could probably tell from the title, we are doing a brand new spring 2023 try on haul from Zara. It has been a while since I've done a try on haul and that is because I was waiting for someone, some retailer out there to finally come out with great things that don't automatically go out of stock and that I can actually show you guys. And of course, Zara was the winner. Zara has been killing the game right now with spring fashion. So I know this is gonna be a really, really good haul and I'm so excited to show you guys. So we got this lovely box in the mail today and you already know this is gonna be a blind reaction. I have not tried on any of these items yet. So we are gonna put these items to the test and see if they are pages pick approved as always i went a tad bit overboard this time so we should get right into the haul so if you want to see a spring 2023 try on haul from zara then just keep on watching all right guys i'm so excited to show you guys everything i got from zara i'm pleasantly surprised that it fit all in one box but i guess we're going with spring clothes here so it's a little thinner to pack up so that's good i'm really really excited like i said i feel like i haven't done a haul in a while and that is because i was just waiting for a retailer to get really good stock and of course zara always does it right this came to my house in like one day so i'm so excited i could just sit down show you guys and then try this all on for you guys and style it up as always so let's just get right into it the first item i picked up from zara is actually a little different i have nothing like this in my wardrobe but when i saw this i knew this would be a really easy piece to incorporate in my closet it's a denim romper. I'm a big fan of rompers in the summer. I know some people are not, but especially for this weather when it's starting to get hot, but a little bit chilly, you don't know what to wear. You don't know if you should wear shorts, long sleeve, you don't know. Just wear one piece of clothing and this is a great start. So right off the bat, I could tell this is a buttery soft denim, so it's not gonna be rigid whatsoever. It has a collar and then buttons going all the way down to the front and then it goes into a beautiful short. Functional pockets and it rolls at the sleeve. I think this is gonna be stunning on. Of course, we need to try it. I feel like this is a very flattering piece that you can wear with runners, you can wear with heels, a cute little bag or a backpack. I just think this would be so cute. And like I said, I have nothing like this in my wardrobe, so I'm really excited to style this up. Let's try it on. All right, guys, first look of the Zara haul. What do you think? This is the denim romper. And I sort of have mixed feelings because I really do love this top part. I love how it fits a little bit oversized. Definitely in style right now. The only thing that's annoying me is the really high neck of the denim. I left the top button undone, obviously, but I feel like it's very much like up my neck, which I feel like would annoy me a little bit, but I get the look they were going for here. And the bottom is not that bad. I know they have to make it a little bit tighter to accommodate for the looser top. I just wish it was a smidge bit looser for my body type specifically however it is really comfortable i'm just wearing it with some sneakers here um and the only other annoying thing was that these were really annoying to button and see this one is like falling out a little bit because i couldn't get it all the way so i could just picture myself in a restroom at a restaurant in the stall trying to button these and it could be a little bit annoying so just keep that in mind but this is actually really cute and a great option for spring and summer this next piece I'm really excited for. I've been looking for an item like this for a while. I knew Zara had it, but I was just waiting for the right piece for me, and this might be it. So I picked up this gorgeous dress. It's in a really cool, like, orangey summer pattern, and it's in this more tulle material, which is interesting. I actually don't have a dress in this material before. It goes to, I want to say, midi length, but of course we got to try it on. I'm a short girl, so this could go a little longer on me. And it is strapless. It has the little gel lining so it can stay up. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to go on the body and actually fit because sometimes strapless things from Zara are a little bit hard for me. But the pattern itself got me. I think this would be such a cute summer dress for a night out, a night dinner, or you could totally move this into daytime as well. But I think this would just be a really sexy like nighttime piece if you're going to a party or something like that. I don't know. I just think like summer sexy barbecue, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Let's try it on. I actually really like this dress. Here it is on. I am wearing a size small. However, I think I'm going to repurchase this in a size medium 
just for my bigger chested girls out there. It's not that it's uncomfortable, it fits. I think I would just like a little bit more room in this area to breathe a little bit, but it's stunning. And also something I really like about this dress is that it is double lined, so there's no way this is gonna be see-through. Um, there's two linings, so you can kind of just play around with the ruching to see how you want the dress to sort of look on you. But hands down, the pattern is absolutely stunning. The fit's really nice for a nice, beautiful strapless dress at $39.90. You truly can't go wrong. Let me go up close for you so you can see. It is really nice, like a perfect summery dress. I'm just wearing it with some plain nude heels, but you could really style this however you want. And it's really cute. It just needs a tan, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's really nice. As soon as I saw this next item, I knew I had to have it. I feel like every summer I pick up some sort of variation of a white linen-y long sleeve shirt from Zara. And then this came and I was like, yep, add to cart. I need this. I'm keeping this. So it is a long sleeve linen shirt, really nice lightweight material. So great for on a cooler summer day. Or if you're going to like an evening event, this is great to just throw over your shoulders or just as an over shirt. This is absolutely stunning, but my favorite part of this shirt is it actually has an opening at the back with functional buttons, which is really, really interesting. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it does have a opening. So you can make this a little bit sexy by pairing a bralette or bikini underneath and just have your bare back flow a little bit. Or you can button up the back and then it's just a regular plain linen shirt that you can incorporate into your capsule wardrobe. So that just enticed me right away, just knowing it's kind of like a two shirt in one sort of deal. You could tell it's really high quality. Zara always does great with the linen, so I just knew I needed this in my wardrobe and had to include it in this haul. Let's try it on. This blouse is actually so cute. I am obsessed. It's really giving like oversized wearing your boyfriend's shirt feel, which I'm kind of down for, especially in this linen material. A lot of the time, oversized blouses can be like really thick and overpowering. But since this is a linen, it's giving more like light and flowy for summer, which we absolutely love. So here it is. I just rolled up the sleeves a little bit just so it's not like as baggy. And I unbuttoned the first couple buttons at the front. You could totally tuck this in if you want to. You can tie it if you want to. It's so cute. It can also double as a beach cover up as well. I'm just wearing some little shorts. You could really even do this with the jeans as well or different types of shorts. You could totally play around with it. But the back, I'm trying my hardest to show you guys. It's really cool. It opens. It's like kind of hard to see, which is really great. It just adds another layer of versatility onto the top. And as mentioned, you could totally button this up and then you just have a regular linen shirt. So I think that's a plus. I totally gravitate towards these type of pieces over the summer just because they're so easy to grab and style and wear with any pairs of bottoms or sandals or sneakers that you have. So this is a yes for me. I know oversize isn't for everyone, but for me it is. And I absolutely love it. Even like sort of half tucked. That's really cute too, but I really love the back. You could totally play around with what you want to wear underneath. Maybe a lace bralette, even a bikini top if you want to wear it as a beach cover up. Stunning either way, absolutely love. This is a win for sure. This next item is great for all of my office workers, my nine to five girlies out there. I know how hard it can be to find functional office clothes that are still cute but not too revealing or crazy. And I think I found the perfect summer short for that. So I purchased these shorts here. I don't wanna say this is a chiffon material, but this is definitely thicker. If I had to compare it the material, I would actually compare it to the Aritzia effortless pants, which you guys know I absolutely love. And I was considering picking up those shorts from Aritzia, but of course I'm always looking to find more affordable options. And I think Zara kind of came through with this. So it's just a plain white pair of nice material shorts, great for the office. I think this is gonna go a little longer, so it's definitely not gonna be too revealing or inappropriate to go into the office in the summer. Great button closure, a pocket at the back. I think this with a beautiful blouse and some sandals, 
even if you want to throw a blazer over this it's going to be perfect for the office so i just wanted to give this a try because i know i struggle myself finding office appropriate clothes especially in the summer i wear a lot of dresses but you know sometimes you're not in the dressy mood and i think shorts are a great option so let's try it on i actually think these are one of the most flattering shorts i've ever picked up from zara these like work style shorts are absolutely stunning they go a little bit more high-waisted than i thought but there is stretch so definitely a good option for you because i know there's nothing worse sitting at a desk and you have like the waistband of your pants digging into you just not a good time but these are them really really stunning obviously goes to a appropriate length functional pockets we love to see it and then wearing this outfit is completely up to you. You could throw a little blazer, a jean jacket, whatever you think. This is going to be great for summer, especially for those office days. I, of course, threw on a pair of sandals, but you could wear it with sneakers or whatever other sandal you'd like. Really comfortable, really flattering. If you are looking for a pair of shorts to wear to the office or just in general something a little bit more fancy, this is a really great option. I was not kidding when this is a pretty big haul because I totally forgot I ordered this, but I'm so excited to try this out for you guys. This is a strapless, beautiful, long dress, and I'm thinking wedding season. Girl, now that COVID is pretty much over, we have like three weddings a year, okay? So that means wedding guest dresses, we need to be on our tip top game because we need to look fleek for these weddings so i picked this up as an option it's really giving hailey bieber i think she wore something similar in white to a red carpet event and a lot of retailers have been replicating that so i wanted to give this a shot it is strapless it does have a zipper on the side and it is actually more of a greeny color which is really interesting i don't own much green in my wardrobe especially in dresses so I think this would be a beautiful great option for a summer wedding even if it's in like a garden or outside this with a pair of strappy heels you'd look absolutely stunning so I did want to try this out for you guys and this was $69 if you're buying a wedding guest dress for under $100 that's a win right there so what can I say I think this is going to work out let's try it on and see if it's pages pick approved for wedding season this is actually a really stunning dress from Zara. It honestly doesn't even feel it's from Zara. It's really weird. It's actually very high quality, which is nice. So here it is. Um, there is, and I know Zara does this a lot, there is a little bit of lining where the boob area is, and that lining is like this big, which obviously does not cover my boobs. So I actually sort of just like folded it and lifted it up so you can't really see it. If I were to wear this to a wedding, I would probably go to a dressmaker and just have that lining taken out because it is a little bit annoying, so just keep that in mind. But the fit itself, it's absolutely stunning. It's so romantic, and I really love the color too. Now, this dress does have a little bit of stretch in the top area. However, I do think I would size up as well. Again, so I'm just a little bit more comfortable. It's digging to my armpit a little bit, not too bad, but again... I just think for comfort, I would get a medium. And I think I've been having to do that a lot for Zara dresses in specific. I usually am a small, but I think for these types of dresses, I do have to size up to a medium just for comfort and just so like I feel better about myself. But this is really, really pretty. Definitely great for a summer wedding. So check out Zara if you need a quick, easy wedding guest dress. All right, guys, last few items here, I actually wanted to try them on together. So let me just introduce them to you together. This is actually a pair of denim shorts. I must say, I do not have the best luck with denim shorts from Zara. I always feel they sort of fit weird on me. They're always a little too high-waisted and too short in the legs. So I kind of steer away. I know they work for a lot of people, but not for me. But when I saw these, I really had to try them out because they reminded me of the Levi's 501 Long Short, which is actually one of my favorite pairs of shorts to wear. A little bit looser, a little bit big. You're kind of more of a boyfriend fit, which I'm totally into right now. I feel like the really short denim shorts is just not my vibe anymore. I need something a little longer. I do have very muscular thighs, so short shorts just not really working for me anymore, especially as I grow older. So I thought this would be a great option. It really reminds me of Levi's, so I'm dying to try this on. And then to go with it, of course, Paige cannot pass up a pink top, so I picked up this really cute Barbie pink tank top 
it was $13. I mean, you can't go wrong. I thought this would be great just to pair with the shorts if I'm going to the cottage, if I'm grabbing a coffee with a friend. With a pair of runners, you're good to go. I mean, I couldn't resist. Zara is great for basics, especially in these fun colors. So let's try these on together. Once again, Zara shorts not working out for me. So these are called the Loose Bermuda Short. There's nothing really loose about them. And honestly, I just think it's the measurements of Zara shorts. Their sizing really varies from like the pant size you get. So I actually sized up in these and they're still pretty tight. I know denim loosens up over time, which you can already kind of see here, but I think this will stretch in the wrong places for me. It's really just not doing anything for me. I mean, the back is nice. No, I just kind of feel like a lumberjack in these. I'm gonna stick to my Levi's, sorry to say. This is why I get more expensive, like denim shorts and jeans, just because the quality cannot compare. I'm sure Zara does have some amazing jeans. For me, every time I try a pair, whether they be short or long, they're just like not it for me. So I'm gonna pass. Um, the tank top is really cute, obviously. It's no question about it. It actually goes a little longer like this. And for 13 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So this tucked into another pair of shorts, I think will work out really well. I actually just had it like folded so you could kind of do like a crop top version too. It's a cute little racer back, really cute color. So that's working out, of course. But unfortunately, the shorts are no. You can't win them all. All right, everyone, that is it for this Zara haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do end up buying any of these items from this haul, please tag me on Instagram at Pages Pick. I love to see you guys in my recommendations. It makes me so, so, so happy. As always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to support my channel. And of course, I'll be back with more videos soon. Love you guys. Bye.